This is Richard Thorndike with BS News for this Monday, the first day of August 2011. Note to Summer, slow the hell down. And away we go. Dateline, let's make a deal, Monty. The big news this weekend was when President Obama and congressional leaders announced the framework of a deal on the debt ceiling. For the record, this is the most complicated, intricate, and painstaking deal over any kind of ceiling since Michelangelo took on the Sistine Chapel. Incidentally, if Republicans had been in charge of that ceiling, it would have been decorated with styrofoam tiles. Dateline, Viagra Falls. The runaway bride of Hugh Hefner has been dishing on how bad Hef is in bed. She complained that he wouldn't allow himself to be seen naked, and that sex lasted about two seconds. The girl evidently seems unaware that when you're having sex with an 85-year-old, those are the two best things that could happen. Dateline, stripped of her medal. The World Pole Dancing Championship will be held next week in Denver. Participants insist that pole dancing is a real sport. If so, it's the first athletic competition to be conducted entirely to the tune of Pour Some Sugar on Me by Def Leppard. Finally, Dateline, the thousand-year litter box. An orphaned kitten in England is having a hard time finding an adoptive home because a patch of black fur under its nose makes it look disturbingly like Adolf Hitler. Officials don't know what's more troubling, that a cute, cuddly kitten won't find a home because it looks like Hitler, or that a cute, cuddly kitten will find a home because it looks like Hitler. Authorities recommend that anyone adopting the Hitler kitten have it neutered, and just to be on the safe side, don't allow it to speak at any mass rallies. As the dog days begin, that's all there is. This is Richard Thorndike, BS News. Have a great week. Under our proposal, the federal government would put up to 700 billion taxpayer dollars on the line. <laughs> Yeah, everybody forgot about that. Yeah, you know, uh, here we here we're trying to recover from from a lack of revenue, fifteen percent in and twenty four percent out. Now it, it's not bad to run a twenty four percent out. Okay, twenty four percent spending as a as a percentage of GDP is exactly what Ronald Reagan was all about. Okay, twenty three and a half is what Ronald Reagan pretty much did. Twenty four. 23.4 percent, uh, you know, uh, percentage of GDP was his spending. Problem is, we don't take in enough revenue. We only take in 15 percent of GDP from revenue. So there's your dilemma. There's your problem. 